<laughs> oh, that was a loud pop. Okay. We'll be cutting it off. Good morning guys welcome back to the channel november 9th it is wednesday we're back up here at the gravel pit this morning we decided to stop picking cotton yesterday after i had that hose bust talked with andy and um anyway we just did not want to risk um messing up my cotton picker any worse than it probably already is so yes we're gonna replace the fan drives but we got one little issue with that Sun South, John Deere, and Montgomery had one of them. Demopolis, uh, Sun South had the other one. So Dad left out this morning to go get it. He should be back around 9.30 or so, but we're gonna go ahead and get started removing the fan drives, and I'll probably put the other one on. I got Andy's gonna meet me up here and help me get all that done. So I'm just pulling up here right now. Um, first thing I gotta do is uh, I've gotta mark all these cotton bales behind y'all. Uh, they're coming to uh, load these up probably today and I have not marked any of them so that is what I'm gonna be doing first thing and then when I get done with that I'll help Andy when James and them get through we'll go uh, get them set up on the tillage so that is what we got going on today dad is gonna be down there it's black was in trying to finish up the beans so um, let's get this video started got a little bitty hole right there you probably can't even see it um, so we're gonna put a new one on Ooh. there you go now we got some spare hose in case we have that happen again So what we did is we had to lower that one row. It wasn't quite going deep enough. So uh, we moved that gauge well up. So I'm gonna watch it and make sure it's going deep enough. And then uh, we'll get the drone out. We'll get some drone footage. What do you say? Sounds good? Let's do it.
All right, so we've got the driven off. We just took that out of here. This is the drive. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's got a little place. See that? So this thing was about to come apart. And we were leaking under here. See all this residue? Anyway, we think this is probably two and a half, maybe three years old. So that's pretty good. That much lifespan out of the driven, I mean the drive. Uh, the driven was original. So um, it was time to change both of them. Um, I can't believe we got that long of a run out of them. But um, anyway, so I feel better about spending the money. So now we're getting ready to take the drive off. And um, as you can see, it is a good time to blow out this radiator because we got the shroud off. You can stand up. So I can get to this radiator real easy. So we're going to go ahead and blow this off while we got a good chance. And also, we'll be putting a brand new belt on there too. Driven, drive, and belt. So here's the old one that we took out. Uh, so there's a gap right there that was showing that it was wearing out. And also, he said this snap ring right here. You see I asked mushroom about to, about to pop off. Uh, that means this thing, he said it was not long before it was gonna lock up. So we were definitely on the way out. We got the new drive going in right now. This is extremely heavy, but uh, he's got it up there putting bolts in it. And then we got to put the driven on. Put the fan blade on, put the shroud on, put all the uh, covers back on. But we're getting there. Yes, we are back running. Uh, had a little bit of trouble uh, once we got everything pretty much put back on. Uh, we had to go back in there and replace a uh, sensor that uh, reads the RPMs of the fan. For whatever reason, that sensor was not giving us a reading. So that was throwing everything off, wasn't allowing the fan dry to move it in and out. Um, so once we put in the new sensor, he happened to have one in the truck. Uh, everything went to work in the end. So bolted everything back on, got all the covers, and uh, I've been running for about 15 minutes and everything is working perfect. So um, all in all, I was hanging my head because I didn't want to spend the money, but after taking it all apart uh, and realizing that it was about to go out anyway, so um, yeah, it was a good move. And uh, thanks to Andy, got over here real quick and uh, got me going, so uh, thanks to him. And uh, unfortunately, I do not think we're going to have enough time to finish the gravel pit. So um, anyway, we'll try to wrap that up tomorrow. So uh, I'm just glad the picker's running good and uh, I'm in some good cotton. So all smiles on this end. Oh man, guys, I don't even know where to start. CP690 is not having a good harvest uh, this year. So we got the fan drives on, picking for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I started hearing a noise. And um, 
I run my machines with no radios on or anything. I know every noise that machine makes, you know, throughout the day. So when I hear a new noise, um, I know something's going on that shouldn't be. So I started hearing this weird noise. I thought it was coming from the heads. And, uh, and then I realized it wasn't. Then I heard a pop. Got down, checked everything out, didn't see anything wrong, and uh, picked another row. And I still heard that kind of light little humming noise or grinding noise. Anyway, then I heard one more pop, got down, started looking at the wheels. And um, the final drive, they go out there on your drive wheels. Um, anyway, it had oil leaking all over the rim. Uh, so what I thought probably happened is oil has leaked out and uh, those gears were trying to lock up in there on that final drive on your wheel and I uh, tried to ease back to the truck real slow pop one more time and I just stopped and I left the machine in the field where it was so the best case scenario is we put the gear oil in it the thing goes to running I can finish picking up here at gravel pit move to Montgomery bottom finish those two fields and we are done worst case scenario is put oil in it it goes to pop and making all kind of noise when I start moving and uh, we have to buy a whole new final drive which is six thousand five hundred dollars just for the part so we'll see what happens you get through there you going under <laughs> I went under it you gonna go over <laughs> Okay. Huh? I go under it. I said it doesn't look like a bearing. See where it goes in. Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't see. It. I've seen those go out, and it's a plate on the back side, and that bearings on that input shaft and they they go out and you can shake this shaft when they get bad but i reckon we'll put oil in it and hope for the best so you think it looks okay right there i'm mm -hmm. telling on the inside though if it was if it was hot it, it doesn't got it got too hot Get on that range. Well, there we go. Yeah, she is dry. All right, you got the bucket. I gotta go out there and get it. Here, you want your light? Rag. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. I, I'm gonna take this other plug out. Well, I want to see if there's any oil in it, period. Oh, yes, yes. It's a, come on, Dan. Get back in there. Well, it wasn't completely dry. All right, give me the thing. We're going to have to get close. All right, we're good. All right, you start pumping. All right, hold up, hold up. We're going to put a little extra in there. Well, let me put this in. All right, pump some more. I don't know what any way to... Looks great. You know if you take off walking. All right, guys. Got oil in it. It was not completely dry, but it would needed a lot of oil. It was uh, very, very low. So the plan is, I'm gonna crank it up. Dad's gonna walk beside it, listen to it, watch it, and uh, give me the R stop. <laughs> oh, that was a loud pop. Okay. We'll be cutting it off. God. It's, it's messed up. Well, it wasn't doing that the other day. It wasn't doing that bad. Oh, no. It was just a very, very low light. You could barely hear it. 
see the bearing which had gotten hot and expanded and now it's cooled down, it's probably seized. A big job. What you do, you let your header down on blocks, mm -hmm. get all that weight off of it, and then you jack it up. Take your wheel deals off. Then you got to have some kind of spear to get under here. Pick that heavy gearbox up. Take it off, put the other on. You see? Huh? You need about that much good strong block. That's what you measured it with? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a ruler. But you take that sitting on the ground and then the jack. Probably need two jacks. Shot one and, and our new one. Where is it? It's service trailer up here? Yep. Okay. Man, it should pop, pop. <laughs> he was... got some monster bolts back here, Daniel. Somebody will have to really get strong. But the tire will be off, so get to it better. So here's where we are on the final drive. We got it ordered. It's going to be here Monday. So the next video that comes out will be us changing uh, that final drive out. It's going to be a huge job, but uh, we'll get it done. So we're going to flip the page and we're going to go uh, get our combines from Blackwell's Bend and we're going to try to uh, cut some beans today. We got to move them to Tyler. We got rain coming later on this afternoon from that hurricane that's coming at us. So uh, anyway, we're going to get them moved and see if we can uh, actually cut some beans today. Be a little tight coming through Selma. So we are combining. They're doing good. Dad's on the other side of the trees right there. But uh, these are our beans. These are double crop beans. Uh, we planted wheat out here, harvested the wheat, came back and double cropped with uh, soybeans and um, they're cutting pretty good for double crop beans. So guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. We are just out of time and it looks like it could rain at any moment. So um, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Click the little thumb, means you like the video. And um, why don't we end the video with some cool drone footage uh, before we get rained out. So thanks for watching guys.
catch y'all on the next one. Rolled footage.